Hi guys, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on this toast in a toaster. And I, this was requested by the Crafty Maddie, I believe that's her username. So anyways, so what you're going to be needing is pink, I'm using pink clay for the base of it. You're going to be needing beige or tan clay. This is Craftsmart Tan, and this is Sculp Primo or Sculpey Blush, I think, or something like that. And then you're going to be needing... Chalk pastels. If you don't have chalk pastels, then you're going to need a little bit of brown clay. And then you're going to be needing some TLS or baking bond. Mine's just in a jar. In this, like, jar thing. And you're going to want, if you want, if you want to glaze it, you're going to need glaze. I use triple thick. And a paintbrush to glaze. A brush to put on your chalk pastels, if you're using those. And an eye pin or a head pin if you want to make it a chart. I'm using an eye pin today. And you're also going to want to use your TLS for, um, to put on the eye pin and a blade. So, let's begin. First, I'm taking my pink clay. I'm just going to be conditioning it real quick. I found God on the corner of first and Lamasta where the wind So now we have it just in a bottom and be flattening it down. Then I'm gonna be like kinda making it a rectangle kind of shape. Yeah, just kind of rectangular. So you have something kinda like this. Then I'm going to take a little more of the pink clay or whatever color you're using. Just a small amount for the little thing on the side. So there, that's the bottom of the toaster. I'm going to put that to the side for now. So we're going to be taking our beige clay and I'm just going to be cutting off a little piece and I'm going to be conditioning this be flattening it down kind of making it kind of like rectangular like this And then I'm just going to take my chalk pastel. I'm just going to be taking a yellowy. Just taking this kind of like yellowy orange and this orangey color. And I'm maybe a bit of that. For around the outside. Around like the. Around like this. The chalk pastels that I'm using are from Stampin' Up. These are my mom's a few years ago, and I'm just like borrowing, borrowing them right now. So I'm going to do this to kind of give it like it was cooked. It was kind of like, and I'm just going to lightly do... And you're also gonna be needing I forgot a little bit of sandpaper just I'm just gonna texture this the like the bottom and the top of it. Okay, so it's all we need with the sandpaper. 
So now I'm just gonna be taking two like skewer sticks or a toothpick or like anything just to kind of push the bread in like that. I don't know how I'm kind of fixing it. Then now we're going to be cutting it about so about this much. If you see that line, so this is going to be what I'm going to cut that off. So it's just be like you could like stand like that. I'm going to come back to our toaster. And with, by the way, with my old one, this is paint. So if you can, you can paint it. But I still have to make it a bit more realistic this time. But you can also, like, to roll out, a, if you don't have chalk pestles, you can roll out brown clay and, like, push, put it around the toast. Or you can paint all brown around the toast. It's up to you and what you want to do. So now, now we know that fits. I'm just taking... A little bit of my PLS, putting a little bit on a skewer stick or something, and then just putting it on the bottom of the toast. That. And then that's This is gonna go on like that, so it stays. Oops. And then put in your eye pin. Slide that into the top. I just put some TLS on it so it stays. And there you have it. You have your toaster. So when you finish baking it, just paint the face on if you want to paint a face on the toast. I have on my old one, I have a um, face on the toaster and the toast, but I think I'm just going to paint a face on the toaster this time. But it's up to you, and then you just glaze it if you want, or you don't have to glaze it. And that's how you make your very own mini polymer clay toaster. Thanks for watching. Bye!